Hey guys, Matt here with 1HP and welcome back to another episode of Exercise of the Week. In this episode, we're going to be going over three different exercises that you guys can do to address headaches as you guys game or if you guys experience headaches at all. It's a really common thing that many of us experience as gamers and one of the most common headaches in gaming is due to irritation of nerves that are at our neck here and that can cause the sensation of a headache as well as the sensation of sort of pulsing over the top of the head and behind the eye. So we're going to be showing you guys three different exercises you guys can do to address some of the most common reasons why the nerve gets irritated in the first place. And some of those things are the ability to control our posture as we sit and play. So our ability to control the neck and shoulder muscles, as well as the endurance of some deep neck muscles over here. So we're going to be getting to those right now. This exercise is meant to stretch a group of muscles just under the base of the skull, which, if they're stiff, can irritate a nerve causing the sensation of a headache, as I mentioned earlier. By stretching this muscle group, we can alleviate the pressure on this nerve. To perform this exercise, you can stay right in your chair or stand up for a change of position. Make sure your head is stacked right over your shoulder. To stretch the right side, first start by placing your left hand on your chin as shown. Turn your head slightly to the left, and then using your right hand, you're going to be pressing up on the right base of the skull. You should feel the stretch in that area. Hold this stretch for 20 to 25 seconds and repeat on both sides. For the stretch, we're going to be performing this three times, 20 to 25 seconds, up to three to four times a day. And as I'll mention later, you should treat it as a way to undo the stress of sitting. This exercise focuses on the postural muscles, along with developing endurance for the deep neck muscles. To perform this exercise, you will be on the ground or on a mat if you have one, but this time in the quadruped position on your hands and your knees as shown. Make sure again your head is stacked right over your shoulder. Press into the floor with your elbows straight to ensure an important muscle of your shoulder is activated. This should allow your shoulder blades to round slightly around your back while keeping your mid back straight. That is a very important part of this exercise. From there, you're going to be performing a chin tuck, then slowly rotating to each side. One repetition is complete when you complete rotating on both sides. Relax your shoulders and repeat the sequence below. Press into the floor, chin tuck, rotate both sides. For this exercise, we're going to be performing it for two sets of eight. We want to continue to work on your postural muscles, but also your deep neck muscles to ensure that you have better control of your neck during prolonged sitting. To perform this exercise, you're going to need a wall to place your back against. And the top of your head all the way to your butt should be in contact with the wall. Your legs are going to be slightly bent. Place your hands with the palms facing out as shown and bring your shoulders back to touch the wall while simultaneously tucking your chin to keep the back of your head against the wall. Hold this position for five seconds and repeat. You're going to be performing this exercises for two sets of 12, holding each repetition for about five seconds. So I think it's really important now to talk about how to use these exercises and incorporate them into your schedule. It's really easy for me to just say, hey, here's three exercises, go figure out everything else on your own. And I also understand how difficult it can be to integrate or incorporate exercises into your schedule, especially as a gamer that wants to just keep playing to get better. And what I found to be the most successful with all the gamers and the pros that I've worked with is to always attach the exercises to a certain part of your schedule so that you have a cue or trigger to remind you of, to, of when to do the exercise or potentially check your posture. So for example, if you play League of Legends or I guess now Team Fight Tactics, every single time you see the results screen, you can use that as a cue or trigger to perform maybe the first stretch in this video or at the end of your session, the last results screen, you can use that as a trigger to one, check your posture and then maybe perform all of the exercises in this video. It really depends on you. You have to decide what part of your schedule you want to attach this exercise to and that will help you be a little more successful. It leverages our abilities as humans to create and develop habits 
to be more healthy as a gamer. So again, always remember to attach it to a certain part of your schedule. My best recommendation is for a certain game, the results screen after actual game. Maybe you lost, maybe you won, but use that as a way to remind yourself, hey, maybe I should do exercises right now, or hey, maybe I should check my posture, or any of the other HP boost tips that I've recommended or talked about in a lot of my videos. So that's it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I want to end with saying... There's a lot of different reasons why we can develop headaches in gaming and there's three really common headaches that I've written about in a full guide in my Patreon. So if anyone is interested and wants to learn more to really see what type of headache they have and then specific exercises and things that they can do to address that type of headache, go ahead and check out my Patreon. I'll have the link in the description below. But it's sort of a choose your own adventure that helps you identify exactly what type of headache you have. And again, there's three total types. The exercises in this video address the most common type of headaches, but there's a lot more exercises and, and things you can do to really holistically manage that type of headache. And it's all in the guide on my Patreon. So go ahead and check that out. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. But again, thank you so much. Bye.